Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general reading for the months of December 2021 and January 2022. Leo Sun, Moon Rising, Venus Signs, and Cross Watchers. All right, so I'm going to pull one for the guiding energy from this deck for the next two months ahead. What is going on with Leo? All right, interesting, Leo. So we have a no and we have a year from now. All right, so I feel like this is a timing thing. So like right now, the timing could be off in regards to something, but it's not that it's an indefinite no. But a year from now is when you're really going to hit the mark. At the bottom, we have improving health. Interesting. So this may very well have to do with your health and well-being as to why there's a timing thing. So paying attention to your health. All right. I'm going to pull one for December 2021, and then I'm going to pull one for January from this deck. What do we have for December for Leo, please? So it's like a message of the stars needing to align perfectly. <laughs> Interesting, hottie. So for some of you with improving health, and we have this hottie card, this may very well be about you focused on your health and well-being, how you feel about yourself, your confidence levels, or maybe there's this attraction here. All right, so I'm going to pull one for January 2022. What about that for Leo? Wow, so this is a lot about um, looks and health and well-being and confidence. We have beauty. Yeah, so for some of you improving health, maybe you feel as though you got off track. And if this is involving somebody else, you know, maybe they're feeling this way. Okay, so, but, you know, just not putting it out there. All right, so we have a lot about confidence levels and health and well-being. All right, so I'm going to move over to the tarot and pull one for December, just like I did with this last deck. So what do we have for December for guidance for Leo? Eight of Cups. Yeah, so whatever isn't serving you, we have you moving towards something that is better for you emotionally. So this card literally represents an eclipse. Okay, so eclipses, we have the Sagittarius new moon eclipse coming up, and that is the last in the Sagittarius and Gemini axis, North Node and Gemini, and South Node and Sag. It's moving to Taurus and Scorpio. So we're going to see this massive collective shift happening. Okay, so there are doors closing, and there are doors that will be opening. New cycles, the collective conscious is really shifting here. So Eight of Cups. I'm seeing you moving towards something greater, something better. And that could be why this no is coming up because there's like a door that's closing at this time. All right, let me look for January. What do we have for January for Leo? Okay, yeah, so we have Ace of Pentacles. So this new venture that you have coming up, this can be the beginning stages. So this can be like a new project, new business. Whatever this may entail, even if it's a relationship or something that you want to build for yourself, like, you know, if this was moving per se, right? Maybe you're moving in the next year. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, that's just an example, but we have this new energy coming in. I'm seeing more confidence, better health, taking care of yourself, leaving habits or patterns behind that aren't serving you. I'm going to pull three for the situation and guidance yeah four of pentacles so that can be about things that you're holding on to that are blocking your success and happiness the pentacle on the head is like blocking the connection with spirit um, for some of you it can be about needing to conserve a little bit more or be conservative with money and finances as you're building this future for yourself. So like if there was a business deal that wasn't working out right now, for example, it's because there's something better. But I really do see this as like health, especially. All right, so yeah, and it could be emotional and mental health. Page of Cups, King of Cups. So Page of Cups could be something that, and I'm noticing these two are looking away from each other. 
So Page of Cups, if we're speaking about emotions, this can be more childlike because there are things maybe that, you know, someone's holding on to, not expressing their true self. And it's like only offering crumbs here and there. But the King of Cups is a lot more forward and mature per se. All right. The King of Cups knows what they want, where the Page of Cups is a little bit more wishy-washy. So if this has to do with that kind of thing, you know, I'm seeing improvements there happening within this next year. But in terms of like offers, projects, things you're working on, I am seeing that for some of you, you may have to be a bit more conservative with money and finances. It's going to take a little bit of work with the Page of Cups, but within this next year, something big is going to really blossom. So I'm loving this. All right, so I just want to clarify this Eight of Cups. Wow. Yeah. See this temperance, the moon, the star, 10 of swords, nine of swords. So yeah, something here, it may feel stressful because like you're feeling that something is ending or like a cycle is closing out, but nine of swords is unnecessary worry and fear. So don't stress yourself. Everything's going to work out perfectly. You may not be able to see the whole picture now, right at this moment with the moon, you don't have all the answers, but the star is saying stay optimistic and temperance. Everything is being worked out perfectly by spirit. You know, if you had a set plan in place, this is saying be flexible. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. There's more than one way to get to a solution or a goal. Okay, so this is big. Ace of Pentacles. Wow, <laughs> that Page of Cups keeps coming out. Page of Cups can also be like, listen, use your intuition. Don't let that get clouded with logic and fear. Okay, yeah, logic and fear, right? Two of Swords. There may be a party coming in here, someone that you meet that also can be really great assistance to you, a friend or something like that, Soul Tribe. All right, so I'm gonna pull some Oracle cards now. I feel satisfied with what's here. I'm going to pull one from Wisdom of the Oracle. Wow, mending. Yeah, see? Mending health, mending relationships, improving those things. So we have mending. This could be like rebuilding your life. Lots of healing energy there. I love that. Go the distance. Don't give up. This is all about endurance. Having endurance, it's the long term rather than short term. So rushing isn't going to be good for you right now. All right, Oracle of the Fairies. Okay, so two important energies here. And look at this moon energy. This is exactly what came out here. So the moon is going to be very important. Paying attention to the cycles, the eclipses, the lunar, no lunar nodes I was mentioning switching into Taurus and Scorpio. Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. So important. Music, listen carefully for there may be a message in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm fairies to your door. So important here. And I'm gonna close this reading up with two cards from this love deck. All right, a couple cards here. The butterfly, wow, yeah, evolving. Okay, perfect. So relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth, so important. Sword in the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power, and look at this progression. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So important. So much healing, mending, new beginnings coming up. I love this energy, Leo. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. And if it resonates with you, definitely let me know. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.